Hi, this is Chef Omega, and welcome to our very first Fast Fact video, where we give fast answers to frequently asked questions. Today's Fast Fact is, why we can't calibrate a Surface Pro? There's a couple key points as to why you can't calibrate or certify a Surface Pro. Key point number one, not every calibration lab setup is the same. Company A might be using a stainless steel surface, while company B is using an aluminum surface. Now we know that aluminum has a higher thermal conductivity than stainless steel. That right there will create inconsistencies in the calibration result. Key point number two, the amount of force that you put on the surface. If I apply a light force to a surface, as opposed to a heavy force on the surface, my readings are gonna be different. When doing calibration, you always wanna make sure things are in tolerance. With this force issue, that makes it very difficult to narrow down what actually is the tolerance of this sensor. Key point number three, the heat sink heat loss effect. As the surface probe is making contact with the heated surface, the temperature is being dissipated into two different directions along the junction. That is basically moving heat away from the junction, and you're not getting a true temperature reading of the surface that you're measuring. Key point number four, after several uses of your surface probe, your heating element will start to get worn out. That means it was gonna require more and more pressure to get a good temperature contact and a good reading. The key word here is inconsistency. It's not to say that these surface probes are inaccurate. It's just that there's not an accurate enough baseline to build a calibration off of. So there you have it. If you have any questions, give us a call or chat at omega.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.